Okay, now it's time to uh, do a little more coding. I'm going to show you what I've got so far here. I've got the init game um, call, and then right below it, I'm going to write this function. So I write function init game, open and close parentheses, and then I've put in something new that um, we're going to be doing in this game, and that is um, uh, strict data typing. So um, I put a colon and then the word void, um, and then an open um, curly brace and the end curly brace is all the way down here and then inside I declare a variable var my variable name right here background depth colon and this is part of the strict data typing um, I give it the, uh, the word number so I let uh, I declare that this variable is going to be a number not a string or not a boolean and I'm setting it equal to one here to start with okay um, and actually that's going to probably be the same throughout the movie um, and so I've done that for each of my art assets you see I've got the background the bar the ramp the water the birdhouse the barrel the haystack two trees the rifle which I up to a much higher depth and then the cursor which is even higher 10,000 and then there's only going to be two things above the cursor and that is my message screen and then um, uh, my message and then the screen depth. Hold on one second. Okay, so um, so anyway, I've I've got these set now. Now what I need to do is my movie has nothing on the stage. This is just a background color. I've got my frame rate set to 12 sit frames per second. I might up that to 15. But in the Lynda.com tutorials, they mention that um, the frame rate I believe uh, does should not go too high. So I'm just going to open it up to 15 and we'll just leave it at that. Um, I believe that that's in one of the video tutorials. I'll look for that and tell you which one. Uh, it's one of the introductory ones where it talks about how the um, how coding for uh, the Wii, uh, Flash games for the Wii is uh, different than coding just for your computer. And also I set the um, size of my movie to 790 by 610 because that's what um, he had recommended in uh, his game. So you can see the size of the movie here is 790 by 610. I've set a background color of green. Um, this is Action Script 2.0, frame rate 15 frames per second. Okay, so first thing I need to do is attach my background. So um, it's called, let's see here, background underscore MC. So what I'm going to do is just, on, uh, I'm going to go two lines down here and right here, and I'll just say attach movie. Then when I open up the next parentheses, it tells me the things that I'm going to need. Uh, the ID name for um, my background uh, movie, for my movie, I give it a new name, and then the depth uh, level. I'll just close my parentheses and put a semicolon in to begin with, and then I'll start filling these in. So I'll say here, um, background MC, comma, the new name which I will set to be the exact same, which you can do. Last I checked, you can do that. Um, I've got word wrap on. Um, you can see here I have line numbering here, and notice how this went to the next line. That's because up here, if I click right here, um, and you're not going to be able to see this. Let's see here. I'll move that over so you can see this. Um, I've set uh, line numbers to on and also word wrap so that um, if it goes past the screen, the uh, it'll just wrap to the next line. Notice how this is line 18, but this is nothing. Line 19 starts down here because this is all part of the same line. Okay, so background MC, and then another background MC, and then here, this is where I'm going to put my background underscore depth. So what depth level I'm going to set it to is the variable for background depth that I've already established here. So it'll be, its depth level will be level 1. Okay, so that is the extent of the code. Um, once again, I've got word wrap on, so um, that's why it wraps to the next line. And now if I hit control enter, you'll see that my background jumps into my movie and is lined up uh, almost perfectly really and why is that well the um, by default when you attach a movie to the stage 
it attaches to x0, y0, underscore x0, y0. And my background movie, if I drag it out, you'll see that its registration point is in the upper left-hand corner. So where it's going to, by default, drag out onto the stage is at x0, y0. So if I just was to set this to 0, and set this to 0, it'll show me where it's going to be dropping in automatically. So by automatically, this is the position that my background movie clip um, was attached dynamically in code from the stage to x0, y0, and that's where it would be because my, my registration point is in the upper left-hand corner. Okay, so I can delete that from the stage right now. And um, now what I'm going to go about doing is attaching each item from the um, library. So the next one would be um, the bar. So what I could do is just copy this code, copy it, control C, I'll hit enter, and paste it, and this will be bar MC, right? And you'll see what's going to happen, and then I'll put it to bar depth, right? And what's going to happen is let's see where this comes in. So I hit control enter you see the bar right that the shooter stands behind dropped in at x0 y0 which is in its upper left hand corner so you can see it's way too high so all I need to do to change that is change its x and y position so what I'll do is I'll go to the next line and I'll say bar underscore mc dot underscore uh, y I don't need to change its X, just its Y. I want to move it down the screen. So if I set it to 400 and hit Control Enter, you'll see it's moved down quite a ways on the screen. Still not far enough. So what I'll do is set it to 480. And you can see that there. It's now at the bottom of the game. My game is a little bit bigger than my video here, so you can see it, but now it's almost all the way to the bottom. So that leaves a lot of room, and that, that's not so bad. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So right after, on the next line, I've changed, um, I've said bar MC, which is its new name that I gave it right here, which is the same as its identifier name. And I've changed its Y position by putting in a dot underscore y and changing its y position from essentially 0 which is the what it defaults to when you attach it to 480 which moved it down the screen and into position now I need to do this for the rest of my objects to fill up the screen and have it ready to go now what are the advantages to this well what if I decide that if you pass a certain amount of levels you get a different shooting gallery then I could attach all different art assets um, to the game very easily and uh, dynamically. That's one of the advantages. Plus, it gets you used to um, using the code to attach movies from your library, using linkage identifier, and doing it all with code. So, um, uh, so anyway, that's that. And uh, we're going to attach the rest of the pieces, and I'll come back in the next movie.